Are you sick of dropping into those big impact areas like Retail, Flush, or now Tilted to start off the game, but still want to gather enough loot to get you going right away? Well, I've compiled a few double to triple chest spawn areas and threw in a couple secret chest spawns that might just give you what you're looking for. <laughs> We will start off with a triple chest spawn here on the south side of the map, just below Fatal Farms. Down here you will find a heaping pile of scrap cars and trucks, but this is no ordinary scrap as it can contain up to two chests on just the one pile alone. Add in a third chest only a few steps away on another heap of metal and voila you have a triple chest spawn area. But that's not it. In this location, only a grenade throw away you will find another abandoned freight liner with more chests sitting on the trailer. That's a whopping four chests in one little area. Great for a duo's drop in. Not to mention the surrounding area contains a broken house to the west and east for another couple chests before you head north to take down the victors of Fatal Fields. Next we have the new map update that brought us a couple little spots worth mentioning. First is the T-shaped mine that looks to be abandoned before they could get deep into the ground. If you head into the bottom level you will find a chest hidden not only to the eye but also to the ear since it is so far below the earth any player running by the surface won't hear it unless they drop down to take a look. Don't forget to grab some ammo from the crate sitting right next to the chest and scour the top area for another three little loot spots before you head out. Second is the llama shaped metal statue at the northwest corner of the map just above the junkyard. This little beauty can contain a chest in its head and several loot spawns inside the hollow shell of its body. Grab up and then head into the fray to take out anyone unworthy in the junkyard. Yet another great double chest spawn out of sight is the one just south of Tomato Town inside the tunnel. Take the southern entrance to avoid any of the noise going down in the little town and head towards the car in the middle of it. Listen and you should hear the sweet sound of two chests hiding behind a wall on the western side. Knock it down and enjoy the spoils before making your way out the northern side to punch someone in the face with a shot to the dome. Next up we have the ice cream truck located in the northeastern part of the map. This little fella can contain not one, but two chests to get you ready before heading into the lurking woods next door. If that isn't enough, head southeast for the fort or west to the houses just to gather a few more chests before making your move to a more heated area of the map. Next up we have the cliff jumper truck. This bad boy is just hanging out on the eastern side of the map, pun intended, and it contains the chest and a few surrounding lootable areas that are all within a stone's throw away. A great place for a solo player to suit up before engaging Lonely Lodge or wailing in the pursuit of the almighty Victory Royale. How about the Weeping Willow Tree? This big fella can contain a few chests for anyone looking to take over this area. Not to mention there is a boatload of lootable areas right next door. Two houses, another rando scarecrow bush party, and of course the ice cream truck all right there. Definitely enough to get a duos team on the go early game. Since we are already talking about trees, let's take a look at the opposite side of the map and hit up the majestic tree just south of Shifty Shafts. This tree also carries the ability to yield several chests and has a new lootable area just south of it with a taco stand, house, and a little barn full of goodies. So loot it up, gear it up, and then get ready to head over to the Shifty Shafts. Another honorable mention is the hidden chest behind Anarchy Acres. It's really only good for a solo character that is landing late or just doesn't like the look of the playing field as they are coming in. Head over the house and fall next to this little nook in the ground to uncover a chest and ammo crate before kicking in the back door of the farmhouse. Last but not least, I figure I better mention the bus crash site. It appears that the driver has had too much to drink and has crash landed just west of the river on the side of the mountain. Not only did he bring two chests, but he almost always leaves behind a few extra guns laying around as well. Great for you and your partner before heading into the mess that needs cleaned up in Tilted Towers. Enjoy. Well, that's it for now. There's always more areas that can be useful when you want to land somewhere in incognito. Let me know your favorite landing spot and why in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more great videos like my Where's the Loot series showing you where all the chests are in every single big name area on the map. For now, I'm your boy Recon and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.